What's up you guys? It's Berlin Plan With B. Today I'm going to do a video about my current most used planner inserts. So I did one of these a long time ago, like maybe five months ago or something. I don't really remember, but obviously like times change, you start using different inserts. You might add some things in, take some things out. So I thought it'd be really cool to just kind of go over my top used inserts right now, the things I'm getting the most use out of that my planning system cannot be without. Okay, so we are just gonna dive right in, you guys. I'm gonna kind of take this section by section just so that I can share with you guys exactly so I don't get lost with the order. So the first most used insert, which I'm pretty sure was probably mentioned in my old video because it's literally like my most used insert ever. And that would be these by Peanuts Planner Co. It's insert number 117. This is what a blank one looks like here, right here. And basically it's the categorized task list or categorized list. I always forget the exact name of it, but I know it's insert 117 because I use it all the time. It comes with three columns and five columns. And basically you can use this for anything. I use it for my inbox. It's something that I've always used for my inbox. And of course I've switched it up here and there, but I always go back to this insert because it's just like the perfect layout. And I love the line spacing that she has because I write small and I just think it's great. It works for so many things. So I use this for my inbox. I also use this for my to buy list. Again, these are things categorized by store, things that I don't need necessarily right away. And they're things that could sit on my list for months and months, which you guys have probably seen some of these on here for a long time. But things that are like important go on my digital calendar because that has an amazing sidebar for things, you know, like a shopping list and such like that. And if you guys are interested in that video, you guys can check out my digital calendar video. I'll link it below. So I also use this insert like to list out my freebies ideas, different video ideas and such. And I like categorize them by if they've been created, if the, if the video has been filmed, you know, if the blog post has been written, just different things like that. They come in handy for so many things. You can literally just put a subject up here and just start listing things out. They're just it's one of the most versatile and universal inserts ever. I just absolutely love them and they're just, they're so great. I just love them so much. My next most used insert would be, you guys know this is coming. This is my projects insert. Oh my God, you guys, I love this insert so much. I mean, I've told you guys this. If you guys have watched my other videos, you guys have heard me talk about this insert so much. But if you're new to my channel, welcome. Then you guys are new to hearing what my favorite inserts are. So this is one of my absolute favorites. Now, so when you actually get this insert for a pocket size planner on this side of your rings is actually just this section, status, description, and due date. And then on this side of your rings is actually just this section, which are the tasks, due date, and status. For larger planner sizes, it is just on one sheet because you have a lot more space in a larger planner, obviously. However, I asked Amanda at Perfectionism Prints, who is amazing, by the way. You guys have to check out her shop. And you guys might know that we've actually done some collab inserts, which I'll get into shortly. But I actually asked her if she could kind of just put it all on one sheet for me for my pocket planner, which if you guys have large writing and you guys can't squeeze things in little spaces like this, I recommend you don't do. But for me, it works perfect because I can write really tiny. So like you guys can see, here we go. Like you guys can see how like small I can write. So I asked her if she can condense it to one page for me and she did. I love it so, so much, but just don't fear if you guys are in a pocket planner, this is not how small they are. You guys can get them where it's the two page spread. So I absolutely love this. The thing I love the most about this is that, first of all, a project is something that is two or more steps to complete. So you have an area to put what your project is, the major due date for it, if there is one, and then tasks to get that project done. I've talked about this before and I'm gonna go into detail in a project planning video in the future. But basically, when you create these smaller tasks for your projects, you are more likely to actually get them done because to put a full project on your to-do list, you might look at it and go, I can't get all this done today and then just skip it and you keep moving it and moving it and moving it and never getting it done those projects don't get completed but if you break them down into smaller tasks and you put one of those tasks on your to-do list you are more likely to get it done because it's something that is more attainable it is something that is easier to achieve within that time frame so i absolutely love these and i really appreciate that she has a major due date for the whole project but she also has these smaller due dates for the tasks so if you guys are doing something that has a bunch of deadlines like these are just perfect i love them so much and i'm not going to go any more into detail about them because i'm going to do a video specific to project planning soon but i just love them oh i just love them so much you guys 
and she does sell these on their own in her shop like if you guys just want the projects insert but they're also part of the gtd bundle that she offers and i highly recommend it like highly recommend it she was the only planner shop that i ever came across that had like the most perfect gtd bundle inserts so i actually got this when i purchased the whole gtd bundle which i have those inserts in here as well and i use them they're just not like everyday use there's stuff that like logs for the future and stuff like that so i'm not going to get into those but they're all fabulous so check it out just check them all out the next insert i'm going to get into is this one here this is also by perfectionism prints this is her what she's calling future log i am using it to put in like appointments and events and things that are like day specific important things that i might need to see kind of on a monthly overview i just love the look of perfectionism prints inserts like they're just so streamlined and i love her bold header and just they're great i love them so this insert i use it's all on the other pages i just can't show a bunch of the stuff that's on there right now so that's why i'm not showing my filled in page but it's so great it just gives you a nice overview and there's quite a few lines here to write down different events and appointments that are going on that month Next, we're going to get into my weekly overview inserts. So this insert is actually mine and Amanda at Perfectionism Prints first collab that we did. We had so much fun working on this together. And if you guys are interested, I have a video specific to these because they are very editable. They're versatile. They are just super customizable. There's so much you can edit. And it's actually a two page spread. I'm only using the one side of the insert right now because of space issues in my planner. So I'm actually only using the one insert from the download, but there's a whole other page that goes along with this that if you guys do a lot of writing for your week, oh my gosh, it's it's just so good. So this is obviously going to be like one of my most used inserts and I'll just show you guys like how they look. These are just some previous weeks here and we just started a new year so i don't have many in here but i just love these so much they're so good there's so much you can edit on these and customize on these before you print to help you guys save time that's the whole point of this like i'm so proud of our collab i love working with her and it led us to our second collab which i'm going to show you guys shortly but definitely go on over to perfections and prints etsy shop and check these out if you guys are interested we appreciate it so so much the next insert that I'm going to show you that I get a lot of use out of right now are my content planner inserts. These are by Peanuts Planner Co. She's another shop. You guys know I love her shop so much because she has like all these great just kind of like blank templates in every style you can imagine for super great prices. And then you can kind of just customize them. You can type on them. I have an entire video of how you guys can edit any planner insert and add text to them. Um, just make sure that you guys read, of course, when you guys download a planner insert if they allow you to alter things like headers and such but i'll leave that video linked below as well but basically you can like type in on her inserts and all of that fun stuff so i did on the content planner typically it comes blank but i typed in all of these actions because it's the same actions for me every single time so i didn't want to have to keep rewriting them because that takes forever so it just saves time to have them typed in so when i print them it's already typed in there and then I can just X them off as I do them. But these come in handy because obviously I'm a content creator. I create YouTube videos. I have a blog. I have my social media platforms. So you guys can follow me on Instagram. You guys can follow me on my Pinterest as well. You guys might also know that I'm also in the midst of a series that I started that I'm teaching you guys how to become bloggers as well in the hopes that you guys can become monetized too. And so you guys can check out that series if interested. I'll link it down below for you guys. But these content planner inserts come in handy so much. Every time I have a content idea, I quick jot it down in here and just to get it down like on paper. And then I have my checklist here already that I have to do. And you guys can see like there's a chunk of them in here. And once they are done, like the whole insert itself is completed, I do take it out so that it's not taking up space. I don't like just hold on to them in here just to see them. So I do take them out of here. So these are all just the chunk of stuff that I still have to film and get done for my content. So that's a lot of stuff, but these inserts just come in handy. I love them so much. The next insert, is collab number two with amanda perfectionism prints these you guys i love so much oh i love these so much again i have an entire video specific to these inserts where i show you guys like all the perks of them and just like how to use them and everything and i have links to every single size imaginable because amanda for both of our collabs created these in 13 planner sizes so there's like a size for everyone out there 
But basically what this is, is a monthly finance overview with a quarterly finance overview and a yearly finance overview all in the same download. So you're getting like this entire year's worth of overviews for your finances. So it doesn't matter if you guys are just tracking day-to-day -day life bills, like, you know, little expenses that you might be paying for your groceries, whatever it might be, and your income, or if you are a small business owner and you need to keep track of your finances and income and expenses, these are just perfect. I love them so much. So basically what you get with this is the monthly finance overview. So I just went to a later month so you guys can't see like my stuff filled in, but it has a small monthly calendar. It has the income section here, and then you can also the C section is for coding so you can put like a color in there and code it to your calendar which is what i do or you guys can put like a letter number symbol whatever you guys want to do to code it having a coding column was like really important for this collab we really wanted to make sure that there was a coding column on these inserts because it's so helpful to see that like on a little monthly calendar overview when you guys are getting income and from what like you know, revenue streams you're getting it from. So even if it's just like one job that you work, you guys might also be getting something for if you're selling stuff on Poshmark or maybe you guys also have a blog and you guys are getting, you know, income from ads and you guys are getting income from affiliate links or whatever it is. You guys can keep track of that here. And then there's a summary line. Use this for totals, use this for notes, use it for whatever you guys want. I use it to just total up my income after the month is over. And then over here, you guys have your expense log here. You guys can see here, there's that coding column as well. This little asterisk is just for, we have it set there for auto pay, which I go over all this in that video specific to these inserts, but it's set there for auto pay. So you can kind of check it off if something's on auto pay, just so that you guys know. And then you can put in all your descriptions summary. Again, you can total it up, do whatever you want. And just a little side note, you guys can, if you need more than these amount of lines, just print a couple of these sheets and just stack them in here so that you guys have a couple expense logs because she offers this in booklet form and in just like singular form so you can print out the specific page versus printing it out booklet form which would be back to back to back so you guys can just keep flipping through in order. So I absolutely love the options that she provides and I love these inserts and I'm just going to show you quickly it does go into quarterly finances here so you can break it down from your week there's four pages for quarterly so you can break it down by your week and just see what you did quarterly and then after that it goes into the yearly finance overview so you guys can see what you did for the entire year again if you're a small business and you guys are tracking your income and expenses and want to see what your profits were and the taxes that you set aside and everything or if you guys are just using this day-to-day -day and just tracking your bills and expenses that you have you can see how much money that you had coming in going out and maybe even track what your savings were what you guys put into your savings account so I love these inserts so much. They get so much use out of them. I sit down weekly and fill these out. And I also have them printed in a full size for my Plan With B binder here. So if you guys don't know, you guys can print these in full letter sheet size, which would be the HP Big, I believe. I didn't know that, but HP Big is apparently like full letter size paper. So you guys can print in that size and they fit perfect in just like a regular old three ring binder. Now, of course I have other little inserts here and there, but I just wanted to go over my absolute most used. And for the last item, it's not actually an insert, but it is a notebook and I'm gonna include it because I use it a ton. Now, I use this, it's the Moleskine notebook, and you guys have actually seen this in my planner flip how I use this, but basically, this is the pocket size Moleskine notebook. I'll show you here, Moleskine written there, and I repurposed an old Stology cover that I taped to the back so that I can easily slide this in the top opening part of the planner here versus putting it in here which i could do i could totally do that but you have to slightly trim very slightly trim the back cover which is no big deal but because i like to take it in and out so often it's just easier to slide it out of the top than it is to take it in and out of the side part so i love this i really wish stology would make a pocket size and i'm actually I'm going to try, I'm going to attempt you guys to fit my a Stology in the back of this. We'll see how that goes. I already know it's going to like hang out to here, but I don't know if it's going to close or not. It probably won't. We'll see what happens with that. But I just love Stology notebook paper and I have a bunch of Stologies, but they are all kind of ripped apart because I didn't want to let them go to waste because I love the paper. So I actually do like punch the paper and put it in here. Here's a piece of Stology paper 
and I use it for notes, but I prefer like when I'm actually taking like lots of notes or writing like just a long daily to-do list or something. I love using a notebook for that, but I need my rings for the organization and customization of like all the other stuff that I have to carry around with me. So I'm going to mention this notebook. Shout out to Moleskine for this. I, I do really like this notebook. I can't show you guys like what's written in here, but it's just their graph style notebook and it fits perfect in here. I really like it. So I'm counting that in this because it's something that I use heavily. So you guys, that is going to wrap up my most used current planner inserts. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll leave everything linked down below for you guys. If you want to check out these inserts that I mentioned today, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I hope that you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.